2017 was fun for Sooner fans. It was also fun for Florida fans. Florida football fans. Not just Florida football Gator fans. Every Florida fan. Miami was good. Uh, Central Florida. Of course, they now have our former head uh, OC, Josh Heupel. As did the Florida Atlantic Owls have a good season. They were the hoot, if you will, in Conference USA with an 8-0 record in the Eastern Division of Conference USA and defeating our old buddy from Oklahoma, Seth Luttrell, and his North Texas Mean Green 41-17 in the Conference USA title game. We'll preview Florida Atlantic coming up next. Boomer Sooner 1982. Don't go away. Show everybody, my name is Harry James. This is the preview for the entire season of Oklahoma Sooner football. Season opener this year will be against the Owls of Florida Atlantic, finishing with an overall, as we said, 11 and 3 record, 8 0 in Conference USA in the Eastern Division. They won the East also with that 8 0 record. They also beat our old buddy Seth Luttrell and North Texas, beat them twice. Beat them when it counted, though, most importantly, they're in Florida Atlantic. They played the game at Florida Atlantic, their title game for the Conference USA. Won it 41-17 over the Mean Green of North Texas, which earned them a bowl game at the uh, the, Bank the the Baca Batten Bowl in their home stadium where they just, well, they sent Akron back to Ohio crying. Just like uh, LeBron James did to uh, Toronto, that's exactly what Florida Atlantic did to Ohio, Ohio, the Akron of Ohio. 50-3, to three, the final there in their bowl game last year, to finish SB7 with an 11-3 record. Heading the charge for that 11-3 record, the laner. Lane Kiffin was the head man this year for the Owls of Florida Atlantic. But you know, even with as good as Lane Kiffin is, you gotta have some players if you're gonna improve this much to an 8 0 record with uh, Florida Atlantic, right? Well, you do. You have some good players like <clears throat> the passing leader this year and starting quarterback. Very, for this season, they graduated their senior quarterback. They also uh, transferred out uh, the other starter from last year. So the third team guy on the depth chart, which could be the starter this year, that would be DeAndre Johnson. He wears number 14 for the Owls. Uh, didn't play, was played sparingly last year because of an injury. But in 2017, of course, as we all know, or most football fans should know, was the signal caller at East Mississippi Junior College. Basically, that's the Alabama of junior colleges. They also have the Netflix show, Last Chance You. Follow them around his, what would have been, I guess, his sophomore year. Uh, did that in that sophomore year. He passed 
for 2,646 yards, 26 touches, and just a little bit more than a handful, just six interceptions on the season. The rushing leader does return, however, from the current team. That is number five, Devon Singley. Uh, 301 carries last year for uh, 1,920 yards and 32 touches for the rushing captain. The second leading rusher on the team, well, that would have been, uh, again, all those players graduate, a lot of the running backs graduate, but DeAndre uh, Johnson, a little bit more of an option guy, as you guys know, and watching Last Chance U, had just 55 carries that one year at Junior College, East Mississippi, but did run for 834 yards and five touchdowns. And, of course, that was in 2017. Now, coming, getting them to the conference championship game and all that, you got to have some receivers out there for them, right? Well, they do. Uh, that would include number 86, Willie Wright. 56 catches for 657 yards and six touchdowns for the youngster. The second leading rusher on the team is number 40, Harrison Byron. Uh, Byrett had 32 catches, 408 yards, and five touches. And you know what, guys? You really don't get back to the hardcore of it. The 8-0 record, the 11-3 record, without some plays, at least some plays, defensively. As Oklahoma fans know, and let's get to that now. Number two, Azez Alshier, and number seven, Richard Smith are those two guys returning. Uh, Alziar Richier, 112 tackles last year, a forced fumble, zero fumbles recovered, zero picks, and zero, uh, zero interceptions, of course, I should say, as a linebacker. Richard Smith, set, uh, 99 total tackles, 11 forced fumbles. Uh, zero picks, zero fumbles, also from the linebackers' position. Their head coach, Lane Kiffin. The Kiffer is a 1996 grad from Fresno State. Uh, his coaching history uh, is uh, 46 and 24 in college with a 65% winning clip. That does not include his time in the NFL. Spent some time with the Raiders in 07 and 08. Before uh, that's when he accepted the job to major college football. And trust me, it was a major step to the Tennessee Volunteers. One of the better fan bases. Oklahoma actually went out there a couple years ago. Baker's. Sophomore year, great fans out there, by the way, accepted that position in 2009 and quickly, just as quickly, flew out to LAX in USC in California and into the sun from 2010 to 2013. He was at Southern Cal as their head coach. And uh, 2017 to present, that's last year to this year, has been the head coach for the Florida Atlantic Owls. Postseason record for Mr. Kiffin, 1-2. and th two. That is a 33% winning clip and 0-0 zero and zero in, uh, in playoff appearances in the, in, in the NFL. Does have the division title, won that thing. Of course, as we said, in 2017, that's the only division title. That's the only conference title for the Kiffer and Lane Kiffin. All right, guys. Week 2 preview will be up next week. You don't want to miss that one. Till then, my name's Harry James, guys. Thanks for watching. See you all next Sunday. And, uh, well, Boomer Sooner, everybody. We're just three months away.